looped, enveloped, and sequenced modulation. So it's a way to program in more advanced modulation into the sound, more advanced change, without having to program it in manually with, say, automation. First of all, let me show you looped envelopes. The modulation responsible for this is envelope one. You can see it's modulating wavetable position on both oscillators and also a low pass filter. Just a small amount there, but integral to get that movement happening. Looped envelopes start as an envelope and then they become an LFO. Another way of looking at this, a portion of the envelope loops, hence looped envelopes. As I trigger a note, the attack starts where my mouse is now, goes up to the highest point, that's the attack, it then decays like an envelope. To the sustain level, again, like an envelope, this is the sustain level. And then it loops through this sustain loop section. Noting you can change the shape of this loop to make it interesting. And of course you can adjust all this to taste and you find that each synth has its own specific way of configuring the curve and maybe a few bonus features too such as morph. In the case of Massive here. allowing you to mix between two different curves. But what about sequenced modulation? In Massive, you use Performer to do this. Adjust the crossfade so it's just the top row of modulations. Set the ratio to one over two, so it moves through each curve every half a bar. assign it to wavetable position, and then randomize. So this top row of curves is modulating wavetable position, but the low pass filter is still being modulated by that looped envelope. And of course I could always manually program this if I wanted to. Allow me to build detailed and complex modulations. Notice different synths will have different ways of doing looped envelopes and sequenced modulation. In Serum, it all happens in LFOs. By enabling envelope mode, it suddenly doesn't loop, it just goes through once. Unless, 
you set a loop back point. And then it becomes a looped envelope, starting off going through the first section and then loops through the remaining section using this loop back point. You can also make it curvy and set steps and even snap nodes to the grid using shortcuts. In Carbon Electro, you have this step envelope. With this powerful but almost hidden feature called Edit. Allowing you to draw anything at all. And finally, in FMH, the looped envelopes are a bit hidden away. You have to basically choose one of the envelope presets with a loop in it, and then adjust it to taste. And there you have it looped envelopes and sequenced modulation.